Hi everybody! For today's Fun Friday project, I am going to color with chalk. Now chalk comes in many uh, different companies and many different forms. This is the Stampin' Up! chalk that I got for a dollar at a garage sale. And there it is. And then I also have um, this Pebbles chalk. This is classic. And this one is my favorite because it's pearlescent chalks. And then I also have this. This I got, um, someone just gave it to me. They didn't want it. And each of these layers has the different colors of chalk. Um, and I chose this owl. And this owl is from Fun Stamper's Journey. And it was in their clearance rack. And for the owl, I'm going to start by using um, the Stampin' Up! chalks. And I want to make my owl brown. So I want to start with the darker brown, and that would be this one. It's broke, but that's okay. Oh, you can't see it. I'll show you. it's too big there it is so I have a q-tip or not a q-tip but the sponge applicator and if you don't have those you can use q-tips so I'm just gonna put some on and then I'll start coloring and I'm going to go from darkest to lightest and I'm gonna start by uh, and you get some of this powder on the you know, cards, and this is just uh, Georgia Pacific cardstock. And I'm going to go around the edge, but it's basically it's just coloring like with a colored pencil, but instead you're using, you know, a sponge applicator. And when you need more color, you just pick up more color. And I'm going to do that all the way around the owl. And I'll show you what to do because uh, chalk can be messy a little bit, but I'll show you how to fix that. I'm going to switch to a Q-tip here. This is a Q-tip. Actually, I think I like the Q-tip better than that sponge applicator because <clears throat> the Q-tip is what I'm used to. I was just using the sponge because it was there. <laughs> and once I get the dark where I want it, now I want to go in with a lighter. And I think I am going to choose this brown here. I'm going to blow some of this extra chalk off. Then when I get to the dark area, I'm going to make sure I, uh, I color into that dark area with the light area. Oh, I must have had some, I had some green on my hand from the chalk palette. I'll show you how to fix all that. And now this is going to be an even lighter brown, his little feather mask. So I'm going to pick kind of a, it was a fleshy type color. Then when I come to this part where I got some green on his eye from my hand, I have an eraser. This is a pencil eraser and I can just erase that. And see here's the green that I got from my hand. I can just erase that. Like if you see some spots that you want to get darker, you just take your little cute tip. Then for the beak, a nice orangey yellow. Then for his eyes, I think I'll make them a green color. So I'm just picking a green.
nice green color. <clears throat> and I'll like get any extra off. And any parts where like I may have touched and I want to get rid of that. You just use an eraser. Just erases. Then you can do the background, like uh, I'll use the pearly chalks for that, for the background. And this is my favorite thing to color with. I didn't show it because the Stampin' Up! set didn't have it. But, uh, and this is like a little alligator clip on a handle. And it's got these little pom-pom balls, and you clip the pom-pom ball in there. And then I can pick up whatever color I want. And I'll use this blue color. And then I can color the background. And there's different size pom-poms that you can use for like smaller areas or big areas. I'm just using the bigger one. And like this large area down here, I don't want to do with a Q-tip, so I'm actually going to uh, grab the pom-pom, a clean pom-pom. But I'm going back to the Stampin' Up uh, chalk. So I can... I'm just kind of blending with this. This works better to blend than the Q-tip. The Q-tips work, but sometimes you just like your favorite tools. <laughs> but I much prefer the pom-poms. But there it is, all finished. Now with um, chalk, you do have to fix this onto your project because it will rub off. Uh, and there are special fixatives you can buy. But I don't do that. I use um, hairspray. I use uh, Aquanet Extra Super Hold hairspray or whatever hairspray that comes out in a nice fine mist that's cheap. So, but that is how you color with chalk. And I can use this as a card front or I don't do... Uh, layouts but I could do that like in a scrapbooking layout if I wanted to but that turned out super cute and the more you layer the more dark you can get you know it's the same with colored pencils but that is how I color with chalk if you haven't already subscribed you can subscribe by clicking my little icon at the end of this video and there will also be some interesting videos that you can click on here. Little icons on videos you can click on here. So thanks for watching. Bye.